Right, good evening guys. So we're back with uh, some more Age of Empires today. So we'll carry on with the uh, Tamerlane campaign. Harbinger of Destruction. So let's dive in and see the how we get on. The blast of wind intensified, snuffing out some of the torches within the hall. Servants bustled about, tending to the meat roasting over the fire. The scent of cooked birds, game and mutton filled the air. This was the first time that Tamerlane's forces had ventured into Europe. The winters were harsh, and Toktamish surely hoped that the biting cold and far-flung supply lines would prove too much for the wily tactician. The armies of the Golden Horde burned crops and took all they could carry as they retreated. Toktamish knew that Tamerlane would show no mercy. Terrifying reports reached his ears of torched villages and mountains formed from the bones of the slain. Wherever Tamerlane went, it seemed that flock of carrion birds were never far behind. Entire towns surrendered upon hearing of the brutal destruction of one of their neighbors. Toktamish had no choice but to engage the rampaging forces of his enemy. The armies met near the banks of the Kondarcha River sometime during the early weeks of the summer. Crows and vultures circles above the field, an ominous foreshadowing of the carnage to come. <laughs> Babaga, how are you doing, buddy? You having a good day today, mate? Yeah, I am good, thanks, mate. I am good, thanks. Right, so our main objective is on this one. Defeat the enemy force blocking your way. It's Cross time to kick floor. ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out Josh, of gum. Josh, how are you doing this evening, mate? Hope you're having a good day. All right, quite a few hints on this one. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Josh. I'm good, thanks. How's your day been? Right, so, Tamerlane's forces cannot advance past the castle age or muster a population larger than 150. I'm looking fresh indeed, yeah, the uh, the mother-in-law attacked me with the shears tonight when I went round for dinner, so, uh, yeah, nice and clean. Uh, utilise the durability of the Tartar horses and the looting abilities of Keshiks to compensate for this, okay. Farming and building docks or ships is impossible in the midst of the harsh Russian winter. Look for other ways to feed your army. Uh, Ryazan is renowned for its siege engineers. Perhaps your soldiers will be able to locate plans for advanced siege equipment here. Okay, okay. Your enemies rely on supply stores scattered around the map. Destroying these will allow you to claim provisions of your own. And secondary Timurid army is marching through the uh, Caucasus to reinforce Tamerlane. Take advantage of its arrival to catch your enemies in a pincer movement. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh, long scout report, long scout report. Right, what we got, what we got. So, Tamerlane's army of cavalry, which is the purples, that's us, has, arrived, uh, sorry, has arrayed itself on the eastern bank of the icy Kondersha River. F facing them on the opposite side is Toktamish's army of light cavalry, cavalry archers, Volga Bulga horse, horsemen, and Russian infantry. Um, Josh, uh, what game mode should I play on Marvel Contest of Champions? Um, I'll be honest, mate, I'm not, I still haven't logged on in a while, um, but what it really depends on what you want to go for. Um, as a rule of thumb, the main um, the main story mode, like the acts, acts one through to five or six, I think it is at the moment. Um, they're always there, so you can play them in your own time. But they will help you build up uh, your roster. Um, then the monthly event quests, obviously, they're only there for the month, but they do have some pretty decent rewards. So um, Depending on what level you're at, mate, I'd always say um, 
go for heroic or above um, if you can smash out heroic do that blitz that then go for master then uh, as and when you move upwards you can get to cavalier as well um, also the uh, the side events on the month each month normally have some pretty decent rewards for them so always try and uh, have a little go on those um, but like I say the the main acts for the story mode they'll always be there so just do those in your own time um, they're not going anywhere as the monthly quests reset every month so the rewards will reset every month for those as well um, arena is okay but you need to get really high scores and I mean really high scores you need to pretty much grind it by playing it for at least four to eight hours a day depending on your roster for the entire time that that arena is available in order to win that champion and then it's not even a guarantee because some people do get some crazy scores on that so I'd say leave arena alone unless you want to try and get some battle chips um, and some gold because that can be quite handy for that um, and just log in every day mate make sure you're logging in every day to at least get your login calendar um, get your points for that and uh, you get some crystals and stuff throughout the uh, month as well um, but yeah I'd say uh, focus on the monthly quests and as and when you've done those and don't have anything else to do then do the um, story mode as well the main act um, and also what's pretty good is the um, what are they called I can't even remember it's like the variants so they're really really good depending on if you've got the right champions for it um, I will do I will try and do a Marvel Contest of Champions stream at some point um, but in the meantime mate if you are uncertain there's a great youtuber by the name of Seaton Man of Legends he's my go-to guy for anything Marvel Contest of Champions related um, he's got some great videos out there does crystal openings uh, every couple of weeks um, so yeah check him out he's got some great tips on how to do the different variants different story modes um, so check him out mate definitely Yeah, as far as trying to get better characters, it just comes with time, mate. It just comes with time. You can pull crystals time and time again and get rubbish champions. Um, but it just depends what content you're trying to do, depending on what champions you need. Um, but just focus on your strongest champions at the moment. Build them up and um, go from there. Go from there. Um, but one good thing that Marvel are doing, or uh, MCOC are doing at the moment, and they've been doing for the past uh, six months or so, is they're revamping all of the champions. So all of the ones at the bottom of the ladder, they're making them better um, so hopefully what you do Paul shouldn't be terrible um, but yeah j just just play it mate enjoy it have fun with it um, that's the only thing I can suggest really yeah if, you, if you're grinding the story mode I'd say um, mix it up a bit and do some of the event the monthly event quests because they do have some really decent rewards usually they're better than the, the main story mode um, rewards to be honest with you I say especially because it does um, it does refresh every single month so you get uh, you get the chance uh, to get more uh, more crystals um, crystal shards but I say I will uh, I, I will try and make a point I've got all the equipment I need now to stream from my phone as well so I'll uh, yeah I'll try and set up a, a Marvel stream and uh, I'll let you know when it's going to be live right where, where did I get with this uh, scout report uh, right, so to the north west lies the Russian city of Ryzan, which is the grey team, uh, a dependency of Toktomish. Its army consists mostly of light cavalry and skirmishes led by the local boyars. Uh, the city of Astrakhan, which is the orange team, lies to the southeast where the Volga meets the Caspian Sea. Its army initially consists of Kashyyyks and pikemen, but will eventually field Kipchak cavalry and swordsmen. Uh, Toktomish's capital of Sarai is located in the centre of the map. Sarai relies on an army of Mangadai and light cavalry, but may add siege engines to the mix as well. Uh, to the southwest, where the Don River flows into the Black Sea, is the city of Azov, which is the green team. Uh, Azov is defended by boils and swordsmen, but will deploy pikemen to counter the Timurid cavalry forces. Okay. Across the river from Azov is a colony of Venetian and Genosi merchants, which is the blue team, uh, that supplies the enemy forces. Destroying it would be quite a blow to their war effort. Uh, the Golden Horde, which is the yellow team, and the Volga Burgers, which is the sides, have camps in the west, north, and east of the map. Though initially loyal to Toktomish, they may be persuaded to turn against him given the proper set of circumstances. Well, so there's a lot going on there, so basically we just need to kill everyone. Uh, Josh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go. What you said and uh, to do. So I'll come back uh, if you still stream. Yep. No, definitely, mate. Definitely. You. Uh, you enjoy your uh, evening. I'll be here for another uh, two plus ish hours. So, mate, have fun. Have fun. Enjoy the Marvel.
tayyar mı? He, selam düşündüm. Anırız. Dar halkın kaymen. Wowzers, that was quite dangerous there. Dar halkın kaymen. Düşündüm. Shall we build a base here? Probably should. Right, let's get a town center on the go right here. Kurgaymen. Right, so they're all our allies now. That's handy. That's handy. Right, so we've. Uh... Salam. Right, let's get a town center on the go. Oh, okay, I did not mean to make that as a mining camp. Right, man. Oh, we need houses. We need houses. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. Okay, let's uh, let's do some scouting. Scouting. Well, I'm going to need to build a lot of houses here. Emrinis? Dar hal kurgaymen. He, bargaymen. Kurgaymen. Tayyarmen. Tüşündüm. Kurgaymen. Send him on a bit of a uh, bit of a trek to work out what's going on there. Salam. Kurgayman. Right. Let's just double check. What was the uh, what's the main objectives? Uh, destroy two enemy cities, capture Ryzen, destroy enemy trade workshops, destroy the Italian merchant colony, parlay with the Volgor Burgers, and the Golden Horde. Right, okay, bloody hell. Should we just send this, uh, this army down there to attack these guys? I think we probably should. I think we probably should. Tayyarman. Kurgayman. He. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. Salam. He. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. Nice, nice, nice, nice, nice, nice, nice. Emrinis? Kurgayman. Oh. 
Tayyar mı? Düşündüm. Kurgay mı? He. Kurgay mı? We'll go on a bit of a recce down here then, see who else we can uh, take out while we're en route. Oh, that's a castle. We don't want, we don't want to attack that castle just yet. Bail, bail, bail! Let's take them into the enemy, into our uh, ally over there. They'll protect Salam. us, hopefully. Emrinis. Kurgayman. Salam. Kurgayman. Right, okay. So, we got ourselves an archery range sorted. We got ourselves. Two siege towers, two siege towers. Chuck them in over there. Hey. Right, hey. what else do we need? What else do we need? <laughs> Probably do with the university. Kurgayman. Alright, so that's them over there. Let's check out what I, what was over this side while that's all doing that. Right, what else do we want to do? So we actually want to head northwest. So let's head over here. Boop, boop, boop. Emrinis. Right. Tayarman. Right, so we need more houses again. Houses galore, houses galore. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. So we want to get ourselves some uh, some rams, I think. Salam, Emrinis. Darat kestayman. Right. Do our uh, guys have any markets? They do indeed have a market, okay. 
so let's send uh, yeah we'll just okay we'll do two for now well, I mean, more, more houses more houses so what was that last bit of chatter there uh, you are a man of honor, Tamalain. We will join you against Toktamish. Okay, Rams are on the go. So yeah, Wood is where we're really Salam. slacking at the moment. Okay, once we got a hundred wood, we'll uh, we'll increase that so we get more uh, more efficient uh, wood chopping abilities. There. Right. Okay. Okay, so we've got three rams at the moment. Four rams, five rams. Okay, so that's trade carts over there. We'll send a couple over this way as well, just to keep the gold trickling on in. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Got me sneezing right into your ear rolls there. And we need to get more than them. Oh, tickly nose. Sorry about that. Right, let's get these uh, let's get these rams attacking. So I wonder if they've got a castle. We will find out soon enough. Right, let's get our army ready to uh, take on any units that might try and attack the rams. Okay, fine, send them up, send them up. Okay, come on guys, you need to take the castle out, you need to take the castle out. Okay, this is going to end badly. Alright, take out that town centre as well while we're there.
Emriniz, emriniz ki madem em. Kurallarınlar. Right, so while that's all happening over there, we need to uh, rebuild the army. Right, how are they faring? Sparing last. Yeah, we could do with getting a castle pretty soon as well. Right, we're going to need more houses again. We just need a good chunk of land in order to put in a load of houses. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. Emriniz. Selam Bargayman. Kurgayman. Kurgayman. So that, uh, that gate can't have much life left in it. Do we need to destroy that? We good? We good? Kurgayman Kurgayman Tayarmen Kurgayman Kurgayman Tayarmen Kurgayman Hazır Kurgayman Salam Taracht Keskeymen
so we want to take out that wonder. So, I'm ringing. Got 11, uh, 11 rams there. We've got a few. Few cavalry units. And ring is game of the men. We'll make them a unit. Make them a unit. While well, there, we'll uh, make some more units here. Oh shite, we lost. Wait, why are the oranges attacking us? Ah, the oranges aren't our team, are they? You know what, actually, we'll bring you guys over here. Bring all our reinforcements into Selam. one area. Alright, consolidate it all in together. Alright, let's take out the towers, shall we? Bidlin, thank you very much, buddy. How are you doing today? You having a good day? Oh, that's good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Hey, if I manage to uh, smash out this level, are you uh, maybe fancying having another bash at multiplayer? <laughs> Amrinis, Kurgaiman, hey, Kurgaiman. Uh, got a bit sick to be honest, but still feel. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're, uh, hope you're feeling better soon, mate. Amrinis, get him out of there. We're all running last. Uh, yeah, I'll be ready prepping some ninety uh, snacks. Nice. Uh, we'll join you for a multiplayer session if you uh, if you like later on. Yes, I'm. Well, say hopefully this level won't take too long. It does seem a bit on the large side, but I'll try and smash it out as soon as I can. Oh damn! We're being, we're being attacked here, aren't we? I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew with this uh, this little uh, this little town fortress here.
I don't even know where the uh, Avos are. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. Well, we did a good little bit of damage there. We did a good little bit of damage. Right, time to rebuild. Salam. Alright, we should probably build a castle. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good, uh, good attempt, but uh, I didn't, I didn't really do it as strategically as I could have, to be honest. Couple of villages. <laughs> right, get more rams on the go. Right, we're good for houses at the moment because we uh, are absolutely slaughtered. Right, Doing all right for gold. We're being attacked by the red team. Okay, okay, they're attacking us over there. Right, there we go, I've got a few villagers uh, coming now to finish off this castle. Some uh, some villages on collecting some food as well. Where are we being attacked now? Hazard, <laughs> Darach Keskame. Salam. Darach Keskame. Over them. Amarinis, Bahraimen. Avrochik Gaimen. Hazard, I'm thinking maybe build another castle. Can do. Right, where's my market? Where's my market? Let's buy some castle building materials. Oh, 
Go right, man. If we check another castle there, that should help protect that area. Oh shit, they're, they're in it. Salam. Okay, you guys go and get some food. I've got a chick guy, man. How many news? Oh, we've got nine so far. Uh, Bidlin, uh, what are your thoughts about the t -t Tartars? Tatars? Um, I'm not sure yet, to be honest with you, mate. I've, um... Salam. I'll go to guy, man. I say playing the campaigns through, I don't really get much chance to really delve into their abilities. Um, I focus too much on just completing the objectives with my you know, standard set of uh, strategies. I build a crap load of siege weapons, smash out their uh, defences and then just wipe them out. Um, so I don't know. I should probably build a barracks actually. Not a barracks, a uh, blacksmith. Right, you know what, let's just send all of them. Send all of them. Um, I see. Yes, they have. Uh, they have also less obvious ability than the rest of the cities, utilizing height advantages. Ah, right. Okay. Okay. I have built my castles on the hills. Oh. Right. Let's go and finish off these guys here. Right, did they kill the villagers building this? Right, where did these archers come from? Oh, they're hunters. That confused me for a little bit. Uh, yeah, also affects castles. Nice, nice. Uh, I'll be off for a bit to make food. We'll be back. Good luck. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit for some uh, multiplayer. Fingers crossed it won't crash on us. Alright, probably well now that I've said that. Hazard. Right, let's go send them down there to uh, defend these rams. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll play it a little bit more uh, strategically. We'll take one building, we won't go straight for the castle, we'll work our way down and wipe everything out on the way. And I'll set the rams to be aggressive, so they should just knock any local buildings out as they go. That's the main plan, we'll see how that actually fares in practice. Get in the base, let's get in the base. I 
Hazır. Kurallanınlar. Emniyet. Teşkarınlar. Emniyet'e madem et. Bütün gününler. Hazır. Teşkarınlar. Emniyet. Bütün gününler. Right, okay, that's the castle down. Oh. Oh, I need to take out those damn towers. Tayar men, hazır, avga chik gay men. Hazır. Bütün gününler, emniyet ki madem men. Right, I want to wipe these orange teams off the face of the map. Let's take out the towers. They're going to deal the most amount of damage to us at the moment. Damn right it will. Right, we want to go for some more rams. Yeah, we're really struggling for food again, aren't we? How's the old resource collecting going? Have we got any gold in it? We've got some chunk of gold there. Um, where are our gold diggers? Actually, where are they? It says we've got two units collecting gold. I cannot for the life of me see any gold.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tayyar man. Salam. Ah, it's these guys. It's these guys. Right. Oh, right over there. Emrinis Right, should we go attempt to attack the red team again, maybe? Right, I've got another little middle mini army building up up here. Shall we go over there? I'm Let's see what damage we can do. Right, which way will these guys go? They'll probably come from up here, so we'll attack that tower from the top. Hash bearing lash. Right, let's see what they've got hiding and lurking around in here. Right, let's go for the castle, let's get everybody on the castle. Nice. 
Oh yeah, we'll leave, leave them to it, they'll surely take all that out. Boom, there we go. I think that's it. Raging fires, torrents of blood, piles of ash, the clash of iron, and the screams of the dying. This was the horrors that Tamerlane visited upon the cities. Bidlin, um, let me know when you're uh, ready, mate. I the am cities good of to go. Sarai, Astrakhan, Azov, and Ukak were reduced to rubble. All that remained, aside from the ruins, were the towers of bones that were built from the corpses of the dead. Those who survived were driven like sheep to march in unspeakable cold. Tukhtamish had no choice but to flee west to Lithuania. Tamerlane was determined not to let the traitor escape, but word soon reached him of a rebellion within his homeland. Leaving the hunt in the hands of two of his generals, Tamerlane swiftly returned home to restore order at the point of a blade. Room, okay, that one wasn't too tricky in the end. Right, um, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll start off this uh, one, Sultan of uh, Hindustan, and then as soon as uh, Bidlin is back from his uh, nighttime munches, we'll uh, jump into some multiplayer. Listening to the stories of the stranger had stirred our appetites, and we eagerly began to devour our meal. I invited the old man to sit next to me. I still thought that this Tamerlane was more myth than man. Surely he had been beaten in a battle at least once. The man has the cunning of a wolf and the composure of an owl. In some battles he strikes hard at the center of the enemy line, while in others swift horsemen outflank the opposition. Then they feign a retreat to bait the enemy into a trap, a storm of arrows. When Tamerlane decided to cross the Tiber Pass into India, a different and terrifying challenge faced him. The armies of the Delhi Sultanate ruled the battlefield through the powerful elephants, monstrous beasts known to crush a horseman with a single foot. Drawing up his lines, the clever warlord waited to spring his latest trap. Right, wait for the battle to begin. Okay. Hints, Tamerlane's forces can advance the Imperial Age and support a population of 200. Uh, Tamerlane's forces have a large supply train with them, but it will not last forever. Then it must be taken before the time I'm representing your remaining provisions runs out. Uh, proper troop management will determine the course of your initial battle. Use the speed of your light cavalry to flank the enemy and target their vulnerable ranged units. Mountains and forests in the south and west of the map are abundant with resources, while the plains surrounding Delhi are an ideal location for them additional military buildings. Outlying villages and monasteries are providing the garrison in Delhi with supplies. Eliminating them would be wise. Who's who? <gasps> Flaming camels! Flaming camels! 
I feel like this is gonna go bad. Hash bearing last. We tune killing last. Hash bearing last. Put on running last. Hash bearing last. Put on running last. We tune killing last. Hash bearing last. To shun team. Salam, Khan, Achkaiman. I'm Rinis. Khan, Achkaiman. Kurgaiman. I'm Rinis. No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Kurgaiman. Salam. No, stop building houses. We don't need houses. Kurgaiman. Salam. Kurgaiman. Oh god, so many villagers, so many villagers. Tayarman. Kurgaiman. Tayarman. Kurgaiman. Hazur. Kurgaiman. Kurgaiman. Amrinis. Kurgaiman. Salam. Kurgaiman. Amrinis. Kurgaiman. Amrinis. Kurgaiman. Hazur. Kanachkaiman. Right, okay, let's find out what's going on. Okay, well, there's one castle. There's two castles. There's three castles. It's a lot of castles. It's a lot of castles. <clears throat> Yeah, we, we just need we just need villagers, masses of villagers. Tayar men. Kurai men. Oosh. Okay. Oh god, they're really close to us. Like, really, really fucking close. Can I get trebuchets? Can I get trebuchets? Castle, castle, castle. Castle, where's the castle? No, oh. Yes, we can. Oh, no, was that a yes, we can? Yeah, yeah, we can get trebs. We can get trebs. Okay, so we've got 85 minutes. Man, I'm at this. Oh, okay, so this is going to be tricky then if that's the case. Hey. So we just need to destroy five castles.
Yeah, that, that, that, that, that. Never mind. Never mind. Amring is dar hal kuchai men. Kuchai men. Efficiency is key. Yarmen Hazur Dar Hal Kuchaimen Kuchaimen. All right, we'll go for a castle up there, see what happens. Salam. Kuhroi men. Tayar men. Kuhroi men. Kuhroi men. Hazur. Kuhroi men. Kuhroi men. Kuhroi men. Kuhraimen. Kuhraimen. Salam. Hey, Yarman. Kurgaimen. Amring is. Kuhraimen. That should be enough for them. Okay, okay. Goes, we're just plowing away. Let's get some uh, more there. All right, one castle almost done. Hopefully, we can get just a crap load of trebuchets. We should probably build some cavalry units as well. Yarmen Hazur Kanachkainen oh. Why can't I build trebuchets? Well, we need a university if we've not got one. Oh. 
so long. Okay, you mate. just build a university over here. Burgain, Why do I feel like I've got one of those? Nope, no I do not. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Hazard. I can just build a couple of castles in preparation. Kurayman. Katwano! Yeah, teach those kids. <laughs> For a split second, mate, I was like, what the hell are you on the university? Yes. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, mate? You're going to be uh, doing some more uh, outbreak tonight? Wait, what? Where is it? Get trebuchets. I need to be on the imperial age. What am I? I'm on the castle age. Oh, okay, that'd be right. There we go. Right, cat. Uh, just got back from work. No stream tonight. I got some new Blu-rays I want to check out. Next stream, I'm going to attempt the final Easter egg in zombies that I don't have. That uh, I don't have complete yet. Oh, nice, nice. What Blu-rays did you get, mate? Or were these the ones that you unboxed last night? The um. I genuinely can't remember the name, um, the name of the collection that you're on about, but um, yeah, nice. So there was Great Escape and something else. I think I was paying attention, honest. Criterion Collection, that's the one. Straw Dogs, yeah. So what, like in a nutshell, what is the Criterion Collection? Is it like? Well, why have they made a collection? Because I was having a look online um, at it, and there's like over a thousand movies on it. What is Criterion? Salam. Darakht keskeinen. Hey, the Rath Keskayman. The Rath Keskayman. The Rath Keskayman. The Rath Keskayman. The Rath Right, and we should be at the Imperial Age in Tayarman. now. The Rat Keskayman. Alright, let's get our trebuchet on. Not gonna lie, I do want to do some uh, flaming camels, they look immense. Uh, so they take specific movies that are movies that are not like well known in some cases. Lesser known works by famous directors, foreign films that are classics or in some cases contemporary that they see as important to the story of cinema as a whole but may not be super well known. And basically they give them new transfers usually. They go out of their way to restore the films in pristine quality. Oh nice, nice. I'm quite surprised then that uh, the great escapes up there mate because that is like... I don't know if it's just like a British thing, but that's a very popular movie over here. Emrini, that hall, Kulgai, Kulgai, man. Hazard. Kulgai, man. Very popular movie, but a classic and important criterion. Nice. So, what's your master plan? Are you trying to get all of them, or which might be a bit crazy because there's over a thousand of them? Um, 
or are you just trying to create your own the, the cat Tyrion collection we'll call it they also popularized uh, popularized the director's commentary oh okay okay I'll be honest with you I've never I don't think I've ever watched a movie with director's commentary on before I've watched a lot of TV shows with it on Salam Kurgay man Right, so we'll get this guy to do flaming camels. Oh, run out. How the hell did a moth get in here? You weren't in here earlier. Go away. Uh, they also do tons of special features and new artwork, so it's good. Uh, it's good val value. I just want a bunch that I'll. Want to see all films that I like in there? Yeah, nice, mate. Nice. I say, if I uh, if if I could move my camera and show you my film collection, mate. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I love me some filmage. Salam. Salam. Salam. Right, where's that timer gone? So I've still got 66 minutes. Uh, man, I wish I had uh, a place for my Blu-rays. I only have my Criterions and a few spare Blu-rays out. The rest are packed away for when I move to college. Ah, yeah. Yeah, no. It's, sometimes it can be a bit of a burden, mate, having so many. I've, I've like once I get the uh, the stream room all uh, gutted and um, redone, I need to have uh, space for all my books because I've got I've got quite the. Uh, Quite the book collection that I've inherited from my dad of all like proper old school sci-fi books, mate. We're talking classic, like classics and many unknowns. So I want to get some uh, like nice bookshelves up in here, some DVD storage and Blu-rays. At the moment, I've, I went through when I transferred over to Blu-rays all of my DVDs, which there's there's a there's over well, I've got to be close to 1,500 DVDs that I've got. Got rid of all the cases. I've just got like a silver silver box with like little sleeves in that I moved all my DVDs into um, and I've probably yeah got almost well over a thousand Blu-rays again now as well I just I can't help it when I was younger mate that's all I spent my money on a very small book collection of 10 books because I didn't start reading until like 2019 mate I, I didn't start reading like I wasn't I, I didn't start that late but I really I, I was really bad when oh, I was younger with better. reading um, like I didn't start until I think I was maybe like started properly reading about fourteen or fifteen, something like that, maybe even a little bit later. I just couldn't couldn't get into books and then along came Harry Potter and boom, hooked. Hooked mate. And I love reading. Like I don't particularly read like many serious books or like what ones that are gonna wow anybody. You know, I like I like quite nice easy reads. You know, I'm I'm a uh, Dan Brown Da Vinci Code sort of a guy. Give me a film in a book. That's what I like. Doesn't necessarily need to be made into a film, but you know, that, that sort of nice easy reading. Yeah, I used to read a lot of non-fiction. I used to, like, w when I was younger I used to read a lot of non-fiction and also um, watch a lot of documentaries as well. That's what I used to do when I was, uh, when I was a kid. So many, uh, Space space docus. Loved it, man. Loved it. I'm a big sci-fi nerd. Shall we uh, 
get the ball rolling. I, I've just got a funny feeling that as soon as I attack that castle, a horde of enemies are going to just fly out of this building. Um, can't read tons of uh, news articles here and there, so I'm way more attuned to the pros of uh, NF than anything else. Uh, reading fiction always feels like a trudge, except for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. A whore of enemies. Exactly, mate. Let, let's just see what happens. I'm sure they'll... Uh, Oh, two people. That's all you're sending, is it? Just, just two lowly soldiers to come and attack me. Okay, you guys go over that way. All right, Treps, I want you over there. I want you over there. I'm surprised more didn't come out. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting like some, you know, 300 esque army to just uh, fly out and go, this is Sparta, and just kick over my trebuchets. So that was, it was a bit anticlimactic, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I need to play some Total War every time I see these streams. I'm like, damn, I need to get back into Grand Strategy. Yeah, I actually bought, um, well, I bought quite a few games when the sale was on, but I bought um, I bought Total War Shogun 2 or something like that. Because um, that's the one everyone recommended. I said I did want to get the remaster of Total War Rome, but I've heard from many people that it is... A rubbish remaster, which I was gutted about. I was really looking forward to that because that's the one that I did actually play when I was younger. Right, should we build some more uh, elite kashiks? Right, come on, Trebs. Treble. Make a treble, make a. Uh, we should do streams where we shogun each other. <laughs> Is that a euphemism, Cat? No, like Total War Shogun, but yeah, no, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, kitty. I know what you meant. And yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely, I'll be up for that. Although, as I say, I have absolutely no idea how to play the game. Uh, but if you'd like to Shogun each other in game, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mate, I'll be up for that. Well, I think we need to uh, breach the base now and see what's going on in here, don't we? Right, Trebs, pack it up. Let's go inside. Okay. Uh, battles are easy control-wise. It's all about your strategy. Hmm. Uh-oh. War elephants. War elephants. Bail, bail, bail, bail, bail. We need explosive camels or some, some like. How do I make my camels go on fire? Um, flaming camel. Oh, that's the petards. Oh, I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that. I need. I need gold. Where's my marketplace? Where's my marketplace? I haven't got a marketplace, have I? Uh, I 
Nope, going in the marketplace. Right, where's the other one going to be then? It's going to be over there somewhere. Salam, Tayarmen, the Racht, Keskaymen, Hazur, Anringis, Anachkaymen. We need a channel point where you wrap the Fresh Print song and show me how it's done. Mate, honestly, as soon as I've got everything set up, it's coming. Don't you worry. It'll be there, mate. It'll be there. I say, I've just been. Moving house took much more of a toll on me than I was expecting it to. Um. They're, take, they're, they're killing all my trebuchets. They're killing all my trebuchets. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, hear some English guy talking about West Philly. Which is where my mom's at. Mate, really? Nice. Right, so we've got a marketplace. What do I want to do now? I want to sell some wood. Sell some wood for gold. Boom! boom. Oh, you guys can start off. Like, right, come on. Come on. Give me a break here, guys. Give me a break. I ran out of gold again. about as old as William Smith. <laughs> you know, as his friends call him. Right, so we've got 50 minutes to try and find this other castle, which, let's be honest, if there's one there, it's got to be here. It's got to be here, or it's going to be really far in the back there. Which I'm gonna, not going to lie. I hope that's not the case. Um, my dad is from New York and I was born in Boston, so we have all the major northeast cities covered. Nice, nice. They call him Bill. What's up, Bill? Right, they call Will Smith Bill or they call you Dad Bill? Or both? Will Smith. That's weird, I would have never pictured him as a Bill. Oh, flipping camels. I've got right, I've got nobody collecting gold right now. This is a major problem. Right, you guys, come on, come on. You need to you need to mine gold. You need to mine gold. You guys also need to mine gold. And you guys, you guys can go and mine down here. Cool, right, man. Your dad's name is Eduardo. His fam calls him Eddie. I just assumed your name was Eduardo. Yeah, put those Chilean miners to work. <laughs> Kill the priests! Organised religion didn't bring us any good anyway. Oh, we have run away now, bitches. You weren't born, Cat Wado. I shall call him Cat Wado. Right, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Hey, to Salam, Bahraimen. Uh, that's exactly what my dad said as I shut out the womb. Tell <laughs> Hazard. 
I believe it, mate. I totally believe it. <gasps> flaming camels. Look at them. Look at the flaming camels, cat. They're on fire. The camels are on fire. Right, where are those troops? Down there. Right. Come up here. Why the fire? Apparently, there was a thing actually that the, um, the um, civilization that I am, the Tartars that I am, did, which was they set their camels on fire to go up against their enemy war elephants to scare the enemy war elephants to running away. And it worked. It's an actual thing, mate. Actual historical thing. One of the guys in chat Biddling was telling me about it yesterday. Find a jet game on the sale called Ace Combat Skies Unknown. I'm gonna see if I can get a fighter jet helmet and wear it on stream. <laughs> Mate, Ace Combat, I'm sure I played a mobile game version of that. I used to really enjoy it. If it's the one I'm thinking about, it's kind of just like you're it's just like a 2D thingy where you kind of just move left and right on the screen and you can zip up and down and just fire up and down and things are coming at you. It was quite cool. I'm sure that was called Ace Combat. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But either way, you should totally get the helmet. The world may never know. Too true, my friend. Too true. See, so even my castles are going brap brap brap. They know it's time for some war. Brap brap. Customize it with my name, and I'll just wear it on the stream for that, mate. I like it. I like it. Although we've only just been able to see your face on stream, mate, and now you're going to take that away from us. I like it on the one hand, but on the other hand, I feel like you're cheating us. All right, let's go. Let's find this castle. Ah, my camel's on fire! Every time I look over and see my face in the camera, I'm like, this was a mistake. <laughs> no, mate, I think, I think it's perfect. As I was saying yesterday on your stream, buddy, you're so, um... Was emotive the right word? I don't think it is. Like, the, the way you talk and stuff, there's, there's so much gusto to what you're saying. It's nice to be able to uh, to see that uh, coming through in actual visualness as well. Flamboyant's not even the right word. What, what word am I looking for, cat? What am I looking for? There's this goddamn castle. War elephants, attack them with my camels! Yeah, see me raging in 1080p. Exactly. What, uh, what what did you go for in the end as far as getting your um, your camera your camera on the go? Because you were struggling a little hey, bit to start off with, weren't salam. you? 
It's literally your phone. Nice. Mate, if it does the job, it does the job. Yeah, it is. I am victorious. The Indian army relied on the charge of its dreaded elephants to shock their enemies and drive them into disorder. No strength. Now, I brought my laptop and my war, camera bag so I can see chat nice. Yeah, I need to sort something out for my chat. Continues. He I'm just using my mobile phone at the moment, his and it's a pain in the arse. And, wood and set them aflame, whipping them toward the enemy lines. The sight terrified the elephants, who doubled back and trampled their own men. Just not big enough. The battle was a rout. Two hundred years' worth of Indian treasure was loaded onto a train of wagons and carried back to Samarkand. In response to an uprising, Tamerlane's armies reduced the jewel of northern India to a charnel house. Death and fire mingled in a putrid stench that enveloped Delhi for weeks. Still, Tamerlane was not satisfied. There was unfinished business to the west. Right, well, I wasn't expecting to actually finish that one. Um, I wonder if Bidlin's, uh, Bidlin's back yet for some uh, multiplayer. Are they saying that? What time are we at? Ooh, 10 to 11. Don't know if I'm going to have time to squeeze in a multiplayer level. That last one was over an hour. Right, we'll go, we'll go for the final level of Tamerlane campaign. Silence gripped the court as the narrative evoked fear and awe. But yeah, I've got a few more bits and bobs that I need to get done in the uh, in the stream room here to get it all set up. Um, if Tamerlane turned west, he surely would have collided. Yes, conquer the world as my ancestors once did. Exactly, mate. Exactly. And as my children will do in the future. For some time, the local Turkoman tribes of the Levant. Had been requesting he may be small, against Ottoman aggression. but he is going to ravage the world. With his army rest, Little Lib. And his coffers full of Indian Oof, riches, maybe not that. <laughs> Tamerlane was ready for more bloodshed. He knew there was more than one way to motivate an army. That sounds problematic. <laughs> religious fervor, and promises Did I say ravage? I meant pillage. Drove his men forward. Ravage? This yeah, Ra Ravage has definitely got more of a sexual context to it, hasn't it? Invasions, but nothing could prepare Liberal the Lionheart. Nice. Nice. Thirsting for glory, Tamerlane's armies flooded across mountains, plains and rivers to terrorise Armenia, Georgia... I still need to make myself a, a, an Age of Empires uh, emote. King Lib. But I like Liberal the Lionheart more. Acquire 10k gold in plunder tribute or any other means. So I just go get 10k gold. Seems simple. Uh, hints, Tamerlane's forces can support a population of 200. Uh, you begin with... So, put my teeth in. You begin this scenario without any villagers. Scout for any locals who might be willing to join your cause or alternatively use monks to convert them from your enemies. Strike early while many of your adversaries are still weak and unprepared. Uh, there are only a handful of mineral deposits on the map. You can acquire additional gold by raiding trading posts, sacking enemy towns or collecting relics. Your enemies are heavily dependent on trade for their gold income. Harass their trade routes or better yet, shut them down entirely. Uh, can't make it a seal with a lion on a shield and your face. A seal? Well, as in... Ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow. Or do you mean like a shield? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Although, a clapping seal that's got my face... Hmm... Tempted. Right, let's go. Uh... Let's go get some gold. 
make it an animated emote. Ow, ow, ow, ow. Can you do animated emotes? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, you know what? I have had the email. I've just not looked at it. I'm totally going to have to have a look at that, mate. Wait, why's my map like that? There we go. Right, we need gold. We've got a thousand gold. Do you try to take me over? Kill the monk. Um, uh, I was filming footage of this kid's camp for my job today. Uh, they were playing Red Rover, and this kid straight up got co uh, clotheslined, and he's Jesus. Man, kids are brutal. Jesus, cat. That is cray cray. Uh, yes, destroy the uh, religion, be free from the chains of supernatural servitude, said the Christian. <laughs> Kill him! So, I'm, I'm not like... I don't have anything against religious people, I just want to kill everybody. It's okay, it's okay. Right, how's my uh, total destruction of this little bit of uh, city going? There we go. Mate. Total annihilation of civilizations is... It's, it's just fun. You know, it's ingrained in my uh, DNA from thousands of years. Of English rule. Oh shit, I attacked them and probably shouldn't have attacked them. They're gonna kill me! Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do too well on this level. Yeah, I'm pretty dead. I'm pretty dead. Right. Right, well we managed to get 2,000 gold. Uh, I enjoyed destroying empires in total war and slaughtering the enemies of my motherland. <laughs> Literally would set uh, the battle to keep going after I won so I could run down all this. Mate, I'm, I was exactly the same. Even though, like, I would wait to, uh, like, on Age of Empires, I'd try not to complete the objectives so that I could get literally total domination over the entire map. It's a little bit sadistic, really, isn't it? Thinking about it. But hey, it's what we do. It's what we do. Well, I've got no allies. Okay, so I can't send. Well, to be fair, I probably could actually. Oh, but cat, cat. Apologies if I've already shown you these, mate. Look at what I got. Look at what I got. <laughs> so, 
So coming to a live stream near you soon. Pokemon Red or Blue stream with the Pokemon card opening. Mate, I have got no idea who they are either. I know, I know Pokemon like gen first generation, and that's it. I'm gonna do it, mate. I'm gonna do it. It's, I've been meaning to, but I'll, I want to make a make it a bit of a, a longer stream, so we can really get into the nitty gritty of Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue. Because I was having a look at some of the average times for how long it takes to complete the game, um, and while we're talking like 25 hours and as much as I would love to do a 24 hour stream soon I've only done one 13 hour stream which was when I did Metal Gear Solid 2 um, that was a bit of a, a crazy day because that's when uh, the little one had to go to hospital um, oh, they're all going to kill me um, but yeah I do, I do want to do it so I think I might do another 12 hour stream on Pokemon Maybe do it. Maybe do a couple of uh, twelve-hour streams over because I've got a That's week off at the end of Raymond. July. Um, that I'm going to try and do some proper full-time streaming. Um, so yeah, that's one of my plans anyway. Yeah, nice, mate. Nice. Yeah, like I've seen a lot of people. Like I'm, I'm not doing it just to try and copy other people. Um, I love. I loved. Pokemon, I should say, back in the day. Um, still got all my old games, um, so I can't wait to do it. I'm going to be getting... Uh, I've got an emulator sorted for it already, so I've had a little look-see, and it seems good. It seems good. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to uh, to play it through again now that I'm whew, 20 years older than I was when I first played it. Damn, I'm old. Kurgaiman, Amrini Jan Kulgaiman. Yeah, oh god, yeah, no, I'll, I'll know it'll be wicked. Bismillah, Hazar Amrini Hazar. I don't really want to spend gold to make gold. Yeah, I've got a whole week off. Well, I've technically got three weeks off work. Um, last week of July and the first two weeks of August, but the first two weeks of August I'm going away on holiday to Wales with uh, the missus family. So, I'm going to... I'm probably not going to be streaming for two solid weeks, which is going to suck ass. Um... But yeah, I figure if I go out with a bang and do a full week of like solid streaming, hopefully it won't have too much of an impact. Like I, I, I felt the week that I had off when I moved, um, I've struggled to kind of bounce back from it a little bit. Um, so I'm a bit worried about having two whole weeks off. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, when you get more Criterion, I'll unbox them for Twitch again. Yeah, mate, you definitely should. You definitely should. And not to copy something you did, but I've got a couple of um, Star Wars Lego sets from when I was a kid that I was I'm half tempted to do a, a Lego build on stream. How did you find your? Because you did yours for YouTube, I think, didn't you? Or did you do? Yeah, you did it for YouTube. Um, but yeah, I might. I'm, I was on and on about that whether to do that because um, I've got like a robotics um, Lego kit that um, like I can make a like an attack walker, um, and it yeah walks about. So I was half tempted to do that, kind of like as a just chatting, but at the same time building Lego. We'll see. Is. Yeah, because I say I want to do variety streaming, not necessarily just variety games, but you know, do some different bits and bobs. Bring in some of the things that I enjoy doing. I say I can't wait to get all my music stuff set up, mate. It's uh, I've missed doing it so much, um, and since like we've had the house packed up, or well, the previous house packed up since basically. March, 
so I've not really played my guitar or anything much. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna be ace to get all that pick pick up all that again and just have a bit of a have have some fun fun on stream. Not that I don't have fun on stream. I do. I do. Right, did I kill my Dubriferkin? Yeah, just all the music gear takes up a lot of room. So um, before I can do with the uh, the the fresh Prince loop, gotta get all my kit sorted out. Gotta get it all sorted out. But I'll do it, mate. I'll do it, and I will make sure as soon as it's available as a redeem, I'll pop you a message. But unlike you, I'm gonna make sure I put a cooldown timer on it. <laughs> Did you do any of the raps, by the way, mate? After after I left stream. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, you need to. Um, what I'd recommend is it's, it's entirely up to you whether you just want to do off the cuff raps, which. Um, Sometimes if you're a bit like me, you might just panic and then uh, go a bit, ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I reckon like you should, depending on how often you want to do one, whether it's like one a week or one a stream or something, if it's you're doing a weekly one, have a rap that you practice for that week so that when it come, if somebody does redeem it, you're good, you're solid, you've got it prepped hey. and ready to go. Yeah, yeah, totally, mate. Because I, I like. Don't get me wrong. What you did was absolutely brilliant, and I loved it. I really, really did, mate. I really did. But I can totally get from your perspective as well that you thought they were rubbish. They weren't. They were hilarious, which is great, mate. It was. It was such. It, it made my night. It really did. Um, But as I say, I get that it wasn't what you were wanting to do, um, or the way you wanted to do it. Um, so yeah, t totally have something um, prepped. Totally have something prepped. And even if somebody doesn't redeem it, well then just you've got you can have it prepped for next time. Hazard. Hopefully he won't get killed this time. Oh, you know what? Let's let's send the monks down. Um, I thought of a million other raps after that. I knew the lyrics too. <laughs> Though, and I was like, damn, I could have now. That yeah, mate, that's that nail on the head, mate. That's exactly what will happen every single time. Yeah, they're they're just attacking me. Tushundum <laughs> Amring is gay, I'm other men. Tushundum. Darhal, Kuhai men. Hazar. Bismillah. Darhal, Kuhai men. Amring is shundum. Hazar. Hazar. Amring is gay, I'm other men. Amring is. Bismillah. Amring is. Amring is. Amring Oh, I feel like I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. Alright, we can do this. If we just build a crap load of these, even though they're not far away, 
You'll be fine. Send these guys down here to defend them. Hazır, kurallanınlar. Amrın İbrahim Amadamen. Selam. Oh, is that gold? That's where we're getting gold from. We're getting 13 every time from that, so after they've done five, four, four rounds, they've made their money back. It'll be a long road to 10k. Salam. Right, you guys go up here and build a marketplace. Turgayman. Oh, guys, don't attack, don't attack it, you pillocks. Jesus. Bismillah. No, don't attack. Bloody. How do I stun it? No. God, you had to ruin it, didn't you? Amring is gay, madam. Amring is gay, madam. Kuhaimen. Bahraimen. Amring is. Market built, boom. Okay, okay, where is it, where is it? Send it that way. Okay, let's build another market up here somewhere. The more markets we have, the better, we'll, the better and quicker we'll be able to do this. Salam. Hey, bargay man. Oh, and they get 43 per turn. Okay, so that's more cost effective for us to use that market. Why did that just sound like a horse was dying? Um, I think so, Cat. Well, the, the the objective for this one is get ten thousand gold, whichever way around I want to do it. So I'm just building a load of marketplaces. Because if you send um, trade carts to other marketplaces, you get gold for it. So yeah, I think I'm getting there. I just need to make sure my units don't accidentally destroy this, uh, destroy the marketplace, because then I'll be fucked. Salam. Salam. Kurai men. 
Go right, man. Go right, man. Okay, yeah, this is gonna end bad. This is gonna end bad. It's just a bit of a slow waiting game doing it this way around. It takes such a long time to build trade carts. Jesus. Cart, the, the carts are just getting destroyed straight off the bat here. We're losing them quick, we're losing them quick. Ooh, it was a relic. Okay, how do I get that gold? I'll take I'll take the gold. How do I take the gold? Oh, we just we got two hundred gold. Well, that wasn't much. Who's my main enemy in this game? Everybody, cat. Everybody is my enemy in this game. The whole world is out to get me. together. Bastards. Oh man, just a war on me. Get And you go back. Deploy old monkey face over here. Okay, you, Mr. Villager, I need to get your ass up here because we can't build any more villages if we lose you. Oh shit. Run, monk, run! Hazar Araimen Ah Yeah, we definitely lost this one. No way we're surviving this. We sold everything else. Did 
Did Mr. Villager survive? I don't think he did, did he? Looks like he's gonna be a wap wap wap. Oh, pikeman. Gonna like turn the tide. Oh, oh, don't want that. Oh, six thousand gold by selling everything else. Yeah, we've got we've got no villages, no nothing. Not the relic. Yeah, we're fucked. We got pretty close as well. 6,200 out of 10k. I completely forgot that I could sell resources for gold. Now if I'd have known that, well if I'd have remembered that straight away, I could have just done that. I reckon we could, I reckon I could have smashed that out, no problem. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and call it there because it's uh, this. This is a loss. There's no physical way of, uh, of winning that, so we'll uh, we'll resign on that one. To be continued. Right, and I think I'll leave stream there. And what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll send a little raid uh, on over to Bruschetta Bros. He's currently streaming some Metal Gear Solid. He's uh, a great streamer. He does. Um, does a lot of uh, Metal Gear speedrunning and also Resident Evil speedrunning. Great community, great guy, and um, yeah, you very much enjoy it. So uh, send some love, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow for some War Zone Wednesday, and hopefully Cat Vado will be joining us for some high octane, death defying donut action. Um, so yeah, thanks uh, very much everyone for watching. I'll uh, I'll be back tomorrow at eight o'clock UK time. Um, and uh, yeah, wherever you are in the world, have a great day, great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.